I don't agree with Shaq a lot of times, but this time I, I have to agree with him. And I agree with him wholeheartedly, man. Um, people that live in the real world have to deal with real world problems. Um, it's just hard for people who are dealing with uh, impending possible evictions because of being laid off from you know the pandemic and all that. A person who live in paycheck to paycheck. People who are dealing with everyday people problems. It's hard for them to fully empathize with millionaires and not having more than two months off between last season and this season. I do agree that the uh, the quick turnover played a factor into why you saw more injuries this year. Um, but I think it comes more from the lack of training that some players had. I think, honestly... I think a lot of it is their fault, the players, because you knew that it was only going to be a two-month turnaround. These 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 things come out in advance, these schedules. So you knew. We knew back in, what, October, November, that the season was going to start in December, late December. So you only had two months, 70 days off. These players, a lot of them chose, said, fuck it, I'm going to enjoy myself. You know, a lot of players – decided to come to training camp 25, 30 pounds a week, okay? And, yeah, accordingly, when you don't show up in shape, you're more prone to, to suffering injury, and that's what we saw, okay? Now, did we see a lot of freak injuries this playoffs? Yes, we did, with Kyrie Irving and Giannis and, and, and you know, and a couple others. But from what I can recollect, most of those weren't non-contact injuries. Those were injuries where guys in the air and comes down wrong, come down on a, a player's foot, or you know his leg lands or, you know, improperly, and that's when you see hyperextension. That's when you see uh, severely sprained ankles. They're freak, in, you know, freak injuries. Even LeBron with the high ankle sprain, that was a freak injury. That had nothing to do with uh, you know the season, the quick turnaround. So Shaq basically said, look, with people, with 40 million people out of work due to the pandemic and the crises that many people are still facing, it's hard for people to empathize with a guy making $200 million, you know, 30, 40, almost 50 million a year, and you play a basketball game every other day for two hours. You have two-hour practice, and you get to go home and fuck the most beautiful women in the world and live a lavish lifestyle, and you complain about the season starting too early. Or, remember a couple years ago, the players wanted to reduce the, the season from 82 to 62. I mean, shit like that, and they complain about that, something that had been going on for 60 years now, or 50 years now, plus the season being 82 games. I mean, yeah, you look at it a certain type of way, like, okay, I'm supposed to empathize with you. I remember back when the players played back-to-backs in the playoffs. That wasn't that long ago. Maybe 20 years ago, they they, they did away with that to, to, to cut down on injury. In the 99 lockout season, some of those guys in that condensed 50 game schedule, when the season started in February, I think ended in May or something like that. Some of those guys, some of those teams were playing four games and five night stretches. That was some tough shit. That's why the basketball wasn't that good that, that year because everybody was so fucking tired. The, the field goal percentages, the scoring, it was an all time low since the induction of the shot clock. Those guys had to had to play. When you read about how a lot of these players back in the day, they didn't have personal uh, private 
uh, Team Jets. That that started sometime in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, you know, guys had to fly commercial. Before Jets in the 40s and 50s, these guys had to travel by bus everywhere up and down the East Coast. Some players, you know, uh, black players, uh, of course, some of them weren't allowed to, to be in the same hotel with their teammates. It's just kind of rub people the wrong way with some shit, man. You know, and I got to go back to this comment that LeBron James said. A lot of people want to go back and say, when did the, the hate start for him? When did all this shit start? And some of it, I think, started, of course, when he went to Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But some of it, I think, started after the 2011 finals. And I'll tell you why. It started when he said that comment about when I wake up, I'm living my life. And, and on other people, they wake up and have the same problems that they had yesterday. And I remember I was on uh, Bruce Blitz live uh, podcast at that time, right? Podcast. And um, I remember when that came out, because we was covering the, um, that, that game when the Mavericks won the title. And when it came out that he said that in the uh, post-conference, all of us were perceived as being LeBron fanboys at that time. All of us condemned what he said. And it, and it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. And I noticed that afterwards, a lot of people that had been really big on LeBron started becoming more critical of him. Not just because of the performance in the finals, but I think that statement rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. It was a very elitist thing to say. So, and I think LeBron's a good good person. Um, but I just think that was a, 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 the wrong thing for him to say. Um, like I said, look, I think part of the problem also is these players are just bigger. Now, over the last couple of years, as the NBA has gotten smaller, you know, the numbers show that. Uh, over the last several years, the players now have shrunk from 6'7", on average, and 223 to now 6'6", six, six, and 216 on average. So the players are getting smaller because the big man is being phased out more. But still, players are now still about 10, 11 pounds heavier than they were in the 80s, when they were about 206, 207 pounds. That doesn't sound like much, but an added 8, 9, 10, 11 pounds on a person's frame over the course of a season especially the way these guys play now, it can cause more injuries. And don't forget, we've seen more injuries recently, even before this season. You know, uh, there was a discussion as to what's causing all these freak injuries we keep seeing from players. You know, why? It's the way they're training or whatever. So this isn't something that just started. But I just want to say, yeah, I agree with Shaq that the average fan – you know, it's hard for them to feel empathy for people who have been blessed in their lives and they get to play a game that most of us play for recreation and for fun. And, um, you know, they only play for a couple hours a day. A lot of people work 8, 10, 14 hour shifts. So, you know what I'm saying? That's my take on that anyway. Tell me what you guys think.